Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Say. How the devil are you, mate? Today, we're going to be looking at a freaky deaky video. Yes, I want to say freaky deaky video. I mean, ghosty roasties, paranormal activities. Thanks for following, mate, on Twitch. Right? That was good timing. <laughs> Today, we are going to be looking at a little channel called Slap Time. Huh? Slap time, mate. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. If I am shouting more than normal today, it's because I went scuba diving today, and my ear, my ear, eh? Eh? It, it's gone all funny. Today, the video is called Scary Videos That Will Terrify You. Short but sweet, mate. Straight to the bloody point. Anyway, before we get into the video, take a look at this. Big shout out to Surfshark who is sponsoring today's video. The reason we've stayed with Surfshark, mate, for all this time is because they're bloody awesome. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network that basically protects you online at every given second of the day when you're on, okay? No matter where you are. So even if you're on laptop, PC, Xbox, your phone, whatever, mate, you click the button and you're safe from anybody who's trying to jump in there, hack your stuff, get your stuff and do one, okay? If you're somebody who does like online shopping quite a lot like myself, okay, don't be fooled because sometimes, depending on the location you're at, you might get different prices. So what you can do is activate this VPN, mate. Say you're back in the UK or wherever you are and you get the correct prices for you. Also, obviously, when you're on the checkout, you're using your bank details and your card details and stuff like that, you're safe because the VPN, mate, will track it all. It will look after your card. Absolutely. Not only does it do that, this is something I've done recently, actually, because instead of buying, like, third-party software and stuff to install a computer to keep your computer clean, I've just got it all on Surfshark. So what I do is I scan all of my computer. I do it every month. Scan all my computers for any viruses. It just gets rid of them all, mate. It's, it's brilliant. There's a 24-7 support line as well, if you get stuck or if there's any problems, but, like, I, I think the reason why they put 24-7 is because they know it's not going to go wrong, and it's super easy to use. It's just like, yeah, but it's really easy. Just put 24-7. It's, it's fine. Just put it on there. Probably got some guy there in a dusty old desk going, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> One of the best things about this as well is because you're watching Caspersite, you can use the promo code Caspersite, all right? And you get 83% off plus an extra three months free. Not forgetting, it's got a 30-day money-back guarantee, mate. Links in the description below. Go and check it out. Use the code, mate. And um, yeah, ramble it. So now your computer's all safe. Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Don't look at it. Don't look, don't you look at it at home either. Because it'll spoil the surprise. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is hey, Slap right, Today we're looking at some freaky videos that'll sort you right out. So hit that subscribe saw you right out. button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Slap him. Go on, Slap Time. Our first clip comes from the TikTok account f.paranormali. It shows some home security footage of a kitchen where something strange happened. A ghost attack? Some viewers have asked the question, is this a real ghost attack caught on camera? Take a look. <gasps> Behind you, mate. Whoa! Why? Mother, mother, my As you can see, it appears something inexplicable happens to this poor, unsuspecting homeowner. Breaking what? the clip down, we first see the chair move. Seem I thought he was going to be dragged up the bloody stairs then. Then the homeowner appears to be grabbed by some unseen force. It is weird. Like, he, he does get taken down pretty ASAP. But it seems like a half ass sort of like, oh, I, I better fall. I'm going to, I'm full. Is it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That seems pretty legit. While on face value, this appears to be something straight out of a horror movie, a few viewers have pointed out a few telling details that may... His, his right leg gets pulled pretty damn rapido, mate. ...prove this is all a hoax. When the man first walks to the table, keep an eye on his right hand.
you can see he grabs something that looks like string. He makes a few tugging actions. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's clearly getting the string on the table, mate. Look, he's clearly getting the string. see he grabs something that looks like string. Here we go. He makes a few tugging Pinch. actions, then the chair Pinch. miraculously moves. Oh, man, you are one pathetic loser, man. Oh, I, 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 there was something about it. I was just like, I don't know, mate. This seems a little bit sus to me, how, how he's falling. Look at you. Look at you trying to get fucking viral, mate. It's then a matter of falling over and lifting your leg in a way that looks as though you're being pulled up the stairs. So it would seem our first encounter for this episode is indeed a fake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Slap, but why would you put it on there then, dude? Because there's a possibility that it might not be, huh? That's, that's the thing, that's the thing. Yeah, because even like his back, his left, his back leg, <laughs> he's not a dog. His, his left arm was pushing himself to try to get that momentum of being pulled forward. But fake! <sighs> While the previous clip may okay, have been now, man. Okay, let's set let's set the scene up properly, shall we, please? We're gonna do a paranormal video. Whereabouts? A church? Sounds great. What should we have in the church? Coffin? Yeah. And a big big ass cross of Jesus. Let's go. Let's do it, man. That sounds pretty freaky deaky right now. In a fake, this next one proves to be a little more mysterious. In April of 2017, worshippers in the Church of Santa Ana in the western Mexican state of Jalisco witnessed something so mysterious that many described it as a miracle. The bizarre event was captured on camera by a churchgoer during Easter celebrations. Watch what happens. Slowing that down and zooming in, you can see the head of the statue of Jesus Christ shift its head. Holy shit a brick, mate! I need to move this stuff, you what? You can't tell me that this is fake. You can't, you can't tell me this is fake, mate. Look, look at the state of you, Jesus. And that's no disrespect. But listen, if I spoke to Jesus, right? And I said, look at the state of you. He'd be like, yeah, mate, I know. I, I don't mind you saying that because I gave you those words to say. All right, look. Slowing look. that down and zooming in, you can see the head of the statue of Jesus Christ shift its head. Jesus bloody move, mate. He bloody moved! In, you can see the head of the statue of Jesus Christ shift its head. Oh my fucking god, mate, that is what? That is freaky as F. When news of the moving Jesus statue broke, it made headlines all around. May it clearly moves. Can anyone in 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 comments please, please explain that? Can you explain that, please? Because I can't. That clearly effing moved, mate. Is it a remote control Jesus? around the world, with many hailing it as the beginning of the second coming of Christ. One of the witnesses, Estela Gomez, told local journalists he believes Jesus is sending some kind of message. However, the priest of the church, Juan Antonio Guare Lule, remained a little more level-headed. Yeah, he was like, oh, oh, I think I've just seen Jesus fucking move then, mate. Oh, bloody hell. Pretend nothing happened. He said that the statue normally rests inside a glass coffin and that it was moved for the Easter celebrations. It's possible then the statue simply moved slightly after being shifted from its usual spot. For many locals, though, okay. this event remains a remarkable phenomenon. I thought that like, he would be, it's a structure. Do you know what I mean? He's a cast, like, uh, you know? A message from Christ himself, a moment that will stay with them forever. Wow. In November wow. of 2021, TikTok user Verdad Expuesta began noticing some strange behavior happening in his neighbor's house. From his balcony, he could see into his neighbor's apartment where something truly bizarre. 
weirdo looking into somebody else's apartment. <laughs> what are you doing today? What breakfast are you having? Ooh, going for the pink underwear today, are we? <laughs> he took out his phone to capture the sighting. Sorry. Take them all. What the fuck? Mate, Flash is in your house. What? What the hell is going on in that house, mate? Shadowy figures appear to be moving at an unnatural pace throughout the home. What? Holy they shit! Zip back and forth. It's Flash. It's Shadow Bastard Flash. Oh, mate, that's quite. That that that's actually. I don't know. Somebody on Twitch stream last night asked me, what is it when you get, get that urge? You know, when you urge, you're like, oh, God. It, like, I don't know what it is, mate. It's like I can't comprehend what's going on. It freaks me out so much. It's like a body shiver. It's not like I'm going to throw up. It's like I, I lose my breath or something. It's weird. That's the shit that messes me up, Several mate. days later, the OP noticed more strange behavior. This time, it appears as though the occupants of the house are walking around backwards. Mate, have you just reversed the footage? Please tell me you've reversed the footage. Please! It would seem this eerie activity isn't- No wonder he's fucking looking at the house, mate! It's the weirdest house in the whole bloody universe! Just at night time either, is the house during the day. Again, we can see the shadow figures zipping about the home. I would move back and forth, over and over. I would lose sleep over that. I would just lose sleep. I would be able to work it out. What the F is going on in that house? Look, so Santa's even fucking freaked out. He's not even going in. Some viewers suggested it might simply be an active child that likes running around the house. A supersonic However, speed. others aren't so sure given that the figure moves at such an unnatural speed and almost constantly day and night. This has left many with the conclusion that we're seeing some kind of paranormal entity, perhaps some kind of residual energy from someone who passed away what that used to live in the apartment. Oh my God, mate. Oh my God. Just imagine seeing a, a shadow bastard in your house that can travel that fast. Imagine that thing, like you see at the bottom of the stairs, yeah? And then all of a sudden, it's right by your face. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Imagine that, because it just ran at you f supersonic speed. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. No effing way. Of course, there's not a lot of solid proof of this, and all we have to go on is this eerie behavior caught on camera. I'd love to get your take on this sighting. Share your theories in the comments section down below. Oh, God. That was a good one. That freaked me out. When a guard at the Kadena Air Force Base in Okinawa, Japan, thought they saw something unusual on the CCTV monitor, they had to rewind the video and watch it again to be sure. After a second look, they were puzzled as to what they were seeing. The footage, which was uploaded to YouTube by Jose Cruz, focuses on an intersection just outside the base. Mm -hmm. It's unclear what time it was when the video was recorded, but the sky is inky black. Just behind a road sign in the bottom left corner of the screen, a dark shadow begins to slowly amass. Oh God, look at you! At first, it looks like any ordinary shadow. However, as it grows darker, it becomes clear that something more sinister could be happening. Take it's, a look. it's square, it's perfectly square. Is it, is it the spirit of SpongeBob or something? Oh! Yeah, I see the, the shadow moving. You see how it's yeah, right behind the sign. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna fly away in a little bit. Hey! Hold on. You might see it again. Hold on, hold on. Do you want it and pause it? Watching that again, the dark shadow what? raises itself from the ground and flies across the road. 
You see? Yeah, I see the, the shadow moving. You see how it moves? Yeah, it's right, right, corner, and it's right behind the sign. Yeah. And it's gonna fly away in a little bit. Look! Fine! Look, like, at least he's following the arrow. He laughed, mate, he laughed. He, laughed. He, wanted and pause it. Okay. it hovers for a moment before returning to the center of the street. That is weird, oh, no. man. Really? Is this something on the lens? Do you saw it? Yep. Oh, that's uh, game over, let's see. The on-duty guards had no explanation for the strange event, but are convinced that a ghost was to blame. Eerily, this isn't the only military base in Okinawa that is rumoured to be haunted. Camp Hansen is a United States Marine Corps base. Inside the compound at the infamous Gate 3, many soldiers have reported some strange activity. It's said that every so often a soldier dressed in World War II fatigues approaches the gate. He's covered in blood with a cigarette hanging from his mouth. He asks the on-duty guard for a light, then vanishes from sight. There are reports of this oh, gate gosh. being closed altogether because of this haunting. It's alleged some Japanese guards refused to be posted there. There are thousands of reports of paranormal activity all over Okinawa. Many believe there's a link between the hauntings and the deadly conflict the island saw in World War II. Mm -hmm. The Battle of Okinawa, which began on April 1st, 1945, was the bloodiest battle of the Pacific War. Estimated casualties sit at over 240,000. Jeez Louise, man! Could this mass loss of lives be the reason for all the ghostly sightings on the island? Many paranormal experts believe that when sustained trauma takes place and lives are lost, a residual energy can remain in place, causing what we know as a haunting. This theory suggests that ghosts are a sort of echo or energy loop, a memory that plays over and over, permanently etched into reality. See, I think that's my theory on spirits. I think, because the, the theory is, isn't it, that like we've all got electricity in our bodies, yeah, w w which we need and what, what makes us move and stuff like that. And so when you die, where does that electricity go? So that's my theory, like, it's, people are seeing sort of like the aftermath of electricity just moving around, just, you know, like the sh a shape of, of what you once were. Uh, uh, that's, that's like a theory of mine. I'm not saying it's the right theory, or the only theory, or that's the theory I believe in, but I think that's a very good theory, you know? D. So what do you think about this theory? Could the ghostly sightings all over Okinawa be evidence that the theory is true? Drop your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments section down below. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I have a light, mate? Motherfucker, I'm gone! <laughs> hold on, Jesus! That was weird. Oh, this God. This next what photo has unknown origins, but oh, is often passed shit. around. Oh, shit! Get baby, get me the fuck out of here, mate! Get me the fuck out of here, mum! Stop looking at the camera doing a selfie! There's a shadow bastard behind me! Paranormal forums. It shows a mother taking a selfie while her child is outside with yeah, their hands baby. on the glass door. The freaky thing is, Look there appears the to be a it. dark shadow looming over the child. There doesn't appear to be slapped. There fucking is, mate. There is. I'm busy. Old. Look at the state of it, mate. It's got like a cloak of some sort over it. Looks like the head and shoulders of a person. Stories linked to the photo say that the young child is often heard talking to someone when alone in their room. When asked who they're talking uh. to, the child simply points to a corner of the room, but there's nothing ever there. Oh god. Hey child, who are you talking to? The shadow man, mommy. Can't you see the shadow man? <laughs> So could this shadow be some kind of paranormal entity that's attached itself to the that young child? That is effing weird, mate. Unfortunately, there's very little info regarding the photo. No one. Look at it. Just look. Huh? Look at that, mate. No 
one knows who the mother is or where the picture was taken. So for now, all we can do is speculate as to what that ominous shadow really is. Jesus. Oh fucking hell, look at, I, I, I can tell straight away that this is gonna freak me the F out. Look at her face. She's so bloody happy, mate. She's so bloody happy. She's like, <laughs> I don't know that there's a shadow bastard behind me. There's going to be a shadow bastard behind you, mate. Here we go. Look. Sticking with freaky selfies, this next one's a doozy. Oh, fucking it's hell. It's another photo go. that often gets passed around social media and old forums with very little info attached to it. Look. It comes go. from the early 2000s, and the story goes that this girl was taking some selfies in her car. She was all alone and didn't notice anything unusual at all. That is until she sent one Please. of the photos to a friend. Oh God! The friend replied immediately in a panic, wanting to know who the person in the back was. Oh no, the no! The girl didn't know what the friend was talking about. Oh fucking hell, mate! Oh my fucking God! Oh shit! Look at the state of this. Look at the state of that. Look. Look at the chicken. Look at the chicken. Look at the state of that, mate. Either that or it's like, I don't know, maybe she's just split up with her boyfriend, right? She's fucking happy because she's got the house and the car and that. And he's in the back window. He's like, no, just give me the fucking PlayStation. That's all I want. You can have the rest. Just give me the PlayStation. Ding, 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 ding. About, but when she double check the photo. Maybe that's uh, an old memory of mine. <laughs> her blood ran cold. <laughs> As you can see, there's a figure in the rear window. That is horrible, it mate. It looks to be floating with an ominous scowl on its face. Look how happy she is. Some versions of the story say the woman went missing shortly after sending the photo to her friend. Unfortunately, like the previous photo, there's almost no info to go by. So for now, this photo and its story will have to remain a creepy pasta. An internet myth that floats about ominously, much like that ghoul in the rear window. She's looking far too happy, isn't she, mate? This next eerie clip was up. Fuck. Why do people record themselves like that? With a fucking crazy ass looking doll. Look at you! Look at you! Uploaded by TikTok user VickerStupe143. Is he, is he, is he, pe is he pecking? Is he pecking the movement on the head? Is he pecking it? And it shows something scary happening that has viewers hoping it's all a prank. Watch what happens. This baby's raving, mate. <laughs> I've seen it before. I've seen that Watching one before. That again, the doll's head moves seemingly all on its own. No, that's got to be fake, man. That's got to be fake. It takes the person on camera a few seconds to realize that the doll is actually moving. But when they do, they freak out and throw the doll away. Like, what's up with his neck? This, like, right here, right here. That's, I don't even think that's attached to the body. It's this genuine reaction that has left many viewers puzzled as to whether this is real or not. Because it is a genuine reaction, mate. But why are you recording? He's literally got a, 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 a camera up on a tripod right now, right? He's tripoding the shit out of this thing while he's on the mobile phone. Why'd you do that? A grown-ass man holding a, a doll there. No, that's got to be fake, mate. Many commenters said the doll was cursed or haunted and that this <laughs> fucking looks like it. This is no joke. Others thought perhaps the person on camera was being pranked by a friend and didn't know what was happening. Oh um, no, the, the, okay, the camera's not on a tripod. Fortunately, this is classic TikTok. The clip is short with almost no context. So you'll have to watch the clip again and decide for yourself as to what's actually going on here. I think it's somebody from like underneath his arm just rocking it, moving it. Our last clip has been terrifying people since 2015. Good it was thing, captured John by YouTuber Resonance 2001 at the Lincoln Cathedral in Lincoln, England. The OP was there sightseeing and filming the enormous church at night time when they spotted something unsettling. Take a look.
Oh. Oh, 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 God, no, I remember. I remember you. I remember you. I remember you. Look at you. Trying to freak me out again, eh? Look at you. There you are. Go on, F off. F off of your freaky ass motherfucking face, mate. Look at you. Go on. Look how close he is to it. Look how fucking close he is to it, mate. Oh my god. Look. F fucking nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere. That's... If I saw that, mate, okay? First of all, I'm thinking, holy shit, yeah, mate, this video's going viral. Two, I'll be thinking, what the fuck is after me? And three, I'll be thinking, motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! Watching that again, you can see what looks to be a young girl's face peeking around the corner. Oh, God. That's so damn weird, man. Look, it's, she's got a massive face as well. Look at you with your massive face. What's that? It's like... When the camera holder looks around the corner, there's no one there. Like, what is that? All the while, the cathedral's bell tolls ominously in the background. That's what makes it even freakier. This enormous, early Gothic-style cathedral was built in the High Middle Ages with construction commencing in 1072. In 1349, the plague swept through the city of Lincoln, indiscriminately killing men, women and children. The Black Death took such a toll on the city that bodies began to pile up. It was so effing weird back there, weren't we? Hey? So effing weird. There was very little room or enough resources to manage the burgeoning health crisis. Officials realised that the bodies needed to be blessed and buried on consecrated grounds, so they decided to hold a mass burial near the top of the greenstone steps at the cathedral. Local legend says that on the anniversary of the mass burial, the ghosts of the plague victims roam around the grounds of the church, seeking salvation for their eternal suffering. Then there's Queen Anne's Well, a small stone structure at the rear of the cathedral. Urban legend states that if you walk around the well seven times, then place your finger into one of the holes on the side of the well, you'll be judged by Satan himself. Oh, God. If your soul is pure, then all you... Stick your finger in that? Right, what, what, fucking, what is that, like a glory hole? Opposite of a glory hole, mate, if fucking Satan's on it. You'll feel is the devil's breath on your finger. Are you sure it's the devil's breath, mate? It just might be some weirdo in there like, I mean, someone's going to put something through a hole in him, innit? If you've sinned, then your finger will be bitten off. And while these ghosts... <laughs> Hang on. I don't believe that at all, mate. <laughs> Stories are fun to tell your friends at night time. Many locals believe that there's a thread of truth that runs through these old legends. To this day, witnesses claim they've seen mysterious figures on the grounds of the cathedral. Transparent shapes, shadowy entities and disembodied laughing are a regular occurrence on the grounds at night time. So now that you've heard the legends, what do you make of this YouTuber's footage? Could this young girl be a plague victim roaming the grounds looking for help? I don't know, Take mate. another look at the footage and judge for yourself. I don't know, that's effing weird. Effing weird. Look at that, they're right there, mate. That is the worst. Like, you can see the mouth open there with the hair and the eyeball and the, and, and the, and the crease of the cheek there. Why are you looking at me while I'm looking at you? Look at you. Looking at me. Like, right here, this is what does my head in. Why doesn't he just go, keep on looking right now? Your, why is your f focus point here? Your focus point should be down here. Keep on turning, you're not turning enough. Like there, like turn, y you're too late, turn. That's the only thing that makes me go, mm.
the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> there you go, mate. That was slap time. Make sure you go to this channel, subscribe, and do the thing. I really like that. Thank you so much for watching it, mate. With me, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please leave a little like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and do the thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.